get into the visual, visual representation of multiplying, because what I really want to discuss is the division. So just a quick thing to remember, when you guys are multiplying fractions, you're basically just multiplying numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. Okay? And then also, guys, remember an important thing to understand here is that you know, we can obviously simplify our fractions by dividing the numerator and denominator by the same number, in this case 6, to get a reduced fraction of 1 half. Right? And these are what we call equivalent fractions, which will come very important in another example that I'm going to be having. All right? All right. But now, my real question is, what about when we're doing division? So multiplication is rather pretty simple. Um, a little FYI, it's not cross multiplication. We'll talk about that later. But please remove that from your vocabulary. We're just multiplying straight across. Okay? And that's just the one thing I'll just have you guys remember. But for division, I want us to understand this a little bit more than just what do we remember on how to divide? Keep, change, flip. Right? I've heard this every single class I keep on here. People have this memorized. They got it. Keep, change, flip. OK, so what, 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 what am I doing? Keep change. What am I keeping? What am I changing? What am I flipping? Yes? All right, so you keep your first term. Okay. Which one's the first term? OK, the top one. OK. All right, then you're going to change the division sign, which is that big one. Yeah. And you're going to change it into multiplication. OK. And then you're going to flip the fraction into a regular. No. OK. So it's 4 over 3. OK, so why? Why am I doing that? Don't ever say cross multiply again. But why am I doing this? I mean, Keep, change, flip. You guys get it. But why are we doing this? You guys have it memorized, which is awesome. But why? What do you mean cancels out? Yeah. Like yeah. Right. Okay. So you're on to a point. You're the first student that has actually brought in some intellectual argument into what we're doing. So, and this is important because I need you guys to understand this. All right. Because what what we're going to be doing, we're going to be covering fractions for the rest of the year. All right. And a lot of times we're going to have fractions in the denominator. So we need to understand why we're doing what we're doing, not just can we memorize what to do. Because this doesn't look like many of the fractions that you were dealing with, right? A lot of them just looked like this. So the keep, change, flip kind of worked, right? But when you look at it like this way, sometimes it doesn't like make sense. As I mentioned, like what am I, what am I keeping? What am I changing? What am I flipping, right? It's not as in nice of the order. So let me kind of explain why we kind of why that works or where that even came from. So we understand this because guess what? We're going to be getting a lot of different fraction problems coming up for the rest of the year. And they're going to be in all these different uh, like um, representations. So if you don't understand what you're doing or why you're doing, you're going to be very easily confused. So the first thing, let's just talk about what's wrong with this problem. We have a fraction in the numerator. A fraction in the denominator, a fraction bar in the numerator, a fraction bar in the denominator, and then a fraction bar separating the numerator and the denominator. So wouldn't you guys agree that's three fractions in this problem? And most of us only really don't even like one fraction. So now we have three fractions. Wouldn't you guys agree that's kind of a little problem, right? So what this comes down to is let's get rid of them. Like I can at least understand one fraction. Like one half. I visually understand one fraction. Like one half, I got that. I understand what, what one half means. Two thirds divided by three fourths. I don't really have a visual understanding of what that looks like, at least off the onset, right? OK. So what I'm going to do is this kind of comes into what Sam was talking about. Like my favorite fraction is a number over one. Because any number over one is just that any number, correct? So what that means is, if I can rewrite this fraction, instead of having the denominator as a fraction, what about if I made this denominator equal to 1? Then I would eliminate that fraction. So then we got to think about, OK, so what do we have to do to get a fraction to be equal to 1? And that all comes down to with multiplying by the reciprocal. right? You don't want to deal with addition and subtraction because that's not going to produce equivalent fractions. Because what we learned here, as long as you multiply the top and the bottom of a fraction at, with the same number, you produce an equivalent equation. I'm sorry, an equivalent fraction. 
So by using multiplication on the top and the bottom, I'm not changing the value of anything. So I think about the reciprocal of 3 fourths is just going to be 4 thirds. But again, I can't just multiply the denominator. I have to multiply the numerator. And ladies and gentlemen, that is where we go from here to here. That's why we keep, change, flip, or keep, change, flip. That's where that comes from. But again, let's work this a little bit longer to make sure it works. So we have this, multiply straight across, 8 ninths. Here, we get 12 over 12, which is just equal to 1. Do I need to continue writing 8 ninths over 1? No. So I'm not saying your teacher was wrong, or what you've memorized is a waste of time. But what I'm trying to understand from you guys is why we're doing that, why we're rewriting it as a multiplication problem in a fraction. It's basically because, yeah, we're getting the denominator equal to 1, so therefore it's still there, like it's still over 1. We just don't need to write it because it's easier to write it without 1 than as with 1. Does that make sense? OK. So in the problems you guys are going to be doing, um, it will